All right, so from Aeroponics again, here with a bit of an update. Um, I have finally gotten to the point where I'm sort of uh, taking off the rough edges and all the, the tubes that I've been preparing. Um, and so taking that off is just way, taking way too much time with a, just with a normal piece of sandpaper. So uh, I'm getting my hands on one of these and this so far has been a big help. Uh, you can see some of the rough, uh, rough bits where the uh, the hole saw has just really bitten into the, the pipe and it's just really destroyed it to be honest um, there's not much for it other than I'll try and take down as much of it as I can and when I get to the point where I put in the elbows I will just have to silicone that bit out and um, yeah let's you know improvise adapt and overcome I guess Okay, so um, in making the top caps, now well, the bottom caps are already glued on, uh, which is fine. That's what's going to be supporting each tube. But on top, all I'm looking for is something to guide uh, so that when I pop a new tube in as a module, this will come down, sit on top, control it so it doesn't fall anywhere and, and can still be, be turned if I need to towards the sun or turn for access, whatever might be the case. Uh, and as I was doing this, I was sort of grinding on on the inside so that these wouldn't be too hard to get on and off. And I was grinding on this side and thinking, oh wait, this is not very clever at all. So I ended up just cutting a slit, basically cutting a slit all the way down it so it can sort of expand. It's still very rigid, no issues at all. And certainly more than enough that when I put a band on top here to control the top of it, so it can slide up and down, um, slides right in and down. Plenty, plenty of control is not going to go anywhere, so no concerns there. So, um, I have prepared a couple of tubes and uh, I've reached the point where I need to find a way to put my elbows onto my tubes. And um, so these elbows are meant to go inside. What I've done is I've put a 75 millimeter pipe on the inside, just loosely, so that uh, as a sort of guide so that I can push down when I was flush with that. Then all I need to do is just, you know, adjust the angle like so, uh, just to get a consistent depth of all of the all of the elbows when you go in. Uh, so I'm going to reuse that on all the tubes when I when I do the actual gluing. Now, as you can see, there's quite a bit of there's quite a bit of, of play in these just because of all the the grinding and the yeah all the nits bits and the variable holes hole saw that ended up you know riveting it up. So. With that play, what I'm probably going to have to do is I will do uh, this glue because it's very quick, it's almost, uh, it's terribly quick really. Uh, so I'll quickly glue where I can and um, once that's hardened up and we're talking seconds, so I'll, I'll go through and, and, and just point them in the right direction, quickly glue them all on, once that's dry and maybe yeah, well, it really is only a couple of seconds, but maybe just to be sure, I'll give it five to minutes. Then I'll go in again, and I have some clear silicone, um, the stuff that you can use for aquariums as well. Uh, so it should be be um, be okay for me to use for this. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna try and place this, and I can see actually it's maybe it's worth mentioning that. So when I did the holes, I had a line all the way through to the middle. And all of the elbows uh, have uh, a line from the mold when they were molded. So it should be as easy as lining up that line with the line that I made. And hopefully it's somewhat straight. Let's give it a try. Oh, and uh, this obviously is outside. Um, I think this is acetone based as well. It's some nasty stuff. So I'm just going to give it. Go here, and I bet you this is already set by the time I get to the other side of this. It really is that fast. Yeah, I mean there's way too much play, especially on the other side here, for this to ever fill out. But as long as it is sort of stuck in place on a couple of spots, then it's enough that I can you know, go in after. Um, with the silicone and, uh, and that should be be enough to make it tight 
clean this up. Oh, these damn. Don't you hate it when they've got the damn barcodes and anything? Take those off. There we go. Put in the next one. This should be where that needs to go. It's straight enough. And I'll do this again and again, all the way until the, uh, the top of it. And then I'll turn uh, and do the other ones that are supposed to come out at about 45 degrees angle on the other side. Basically, they're gonna come out as this so that there's a 20 centimeter difference between each hole and none of the holes will cover the ones on the other side. So that will come out like this. Uh, and it will still go out at an angle so it'll be something like this so about this wide each module will be so the 20 centimeters between the tubes hopefully there should still be enough room for everything and if not then I have several holes built in the supporting tube that they're gonna be stuck into that I can sort of move them around so if I'm if I'm growing something that takes up more space I can basically take that entire module and then compact two of them to one side and have more space for I don't know puck puck joy um, to go on the other side. So uh, that's another advantage of having it be modular. So yeah, there it is. Stay tuned and if you got questions or comments, leave them below and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Stay cool.